Hey there bookworms and welcome back to my channel. Now of course you're seeing me in my proud Jamaican colors and I wanted to share with you that a part of being a proud Jamaican citizen is knowing about our history and culture. So what better way than to kick off this amazing new series than in the month of October. You do know that we celebrate National Heroes Day in October, right? Yep, this new series is all about our national heroes. The history of Jamaica can be found in these individual stories. All of them share the same theme of strength and resilience. So of course, it's only fitting that we focus on these national heroes just in time to celebrate National Heroes Day. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the right excellent Sam Sharp. Get your pen and papers ready because we're going to learn some interesting facts about this particular national hero. And if you might have missed the previous videos, just go ahead and watch them right here. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Let's take a look at one of Jamaica's national hero, the right excellent Samuel Sharp. It was Sam Sharp who most popularly shared these words, I would rather die among yonder gallows than live in slavery. So who is Sam Sharp? Samuel Sharp was born in St. James, Jamaica sometime in 1801. Although he was born into slavery, Sharp taught himself how to read and write. Sam Sharp joined the church and became a Baptist deacon. Thanks to his intelligence and leadership qualities, Sharp was named Daddy or Daddy Sharp and became the leader of the native Baptists in Montego Bay. You see, religious meetings were the only allowed form of organized activities by slaves and Sharp was able to use the meetings to inspire his congregations and communicate his concerns. He spoke out against the injustice of slavery and it is said that he amazed people with the power and passion of his speech. What was most memorable and important about Sam Sharp is that he was the main instigator of the 1831 Slave Rebellion, which began on the Kensington Estate in St. James and which was largely instrumental in bringing about the abolition of slavery. Sam Sharp was the mastermind behind the Christmas Rebellion of 1831 when slaves on plantations across the island were supposed to have a one-day sit-down strike and do not work until they got paid. This happened when Sharp was just 31 years old, where he instigated a plan of passive resistance, a general strike against slavery. The plan was that slaves would refuse to work after their Christmas holiday in 1831. They would continue to strike until the state owners and managers listened to their concerns. Sharp felt that the owners might listen to the slaves as the strike was timed for the key sugarcane harvest and if the ripe cane was not cut then it would be ruined. As Sharp's idea for the general strike spread among slaves throughout Jamaica from St. James to Trelawney to Westmoreland to St. Elizabeth and Manchester, word of the plan reached the ears of some of the planters. Troops were sent into St. James and warships were anchored in Montego Bay and Black River with their guns trained on the towns. On the 27th of December 1831, the Kensington Estate Great House was set on fire as a signal that the slave rebellion had begun. A series of other fires broke out in the area and soon it was clear that the plan of a non-violent resistance, which Sam Sharp had originated, was impossible and impractical. It very quickly became the largest slave rebellion in the West Indies, with as many as 60,000 of Jamaica's 300,000 slaves arming themselves and seizing property across the island. The 
The Christmas Rebellion lasted until January 4th, 1832, with slaves easily overwhelmed by British forces and the Jamaican government. It also cost the lives of 186 slaves and 14 white overseers or planters. Samuel Sharp was captured and hanged on May 23, 1832 in Montego Bay on a square now called Sam Sharp Square. According to many, the Baptist War accelerated the passing of the Slavery Abolition Act 1833 by the British Parliament. Now here are some interesting facts about Daddy Sharp. We just learned that the square in Montego Bay where Sam Sharp was captured and hanged is now called Sam Sharp Square. It also houses the Sam Sharp Monument, designed by Kay Sullivan and cast in bronze. It portrays Sharp holding his Bible and speaking to his people. You can also find other statues and monuments of Sam Sharp at the National Heroes Park and Emancipation Park. He is also the face on our $50 bill. In 1975, Independent Jamaica honored Sam Sharp when the Teachers College founded in 1975 by the Ministry of Education was named in his honor. We now have the Sam Sharp Teachers College located in Montego Bay. Thank you for watching Bookworms and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and continue joining me in the rest of this series. Bye!